Hey there everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me here today for a new pick a card reading. For anyone that may be new to my channel, welcome in. My name is Melissa and today's topic is going to be how is your person feeling about you? Keeping the messages as blunt but loving as possible. <laughs> So for those of you that have been subscribed to my channel for a while, you'll know that typically about once a month, I like to do this video. It seems to do really well on the channel and definitely great for anyone out there that just needs a little bit of clarity and insight into a connection with someone significant in their life. And you know, one thing that I really pride myself on with videos like these is I, I don't sugarcoat the messages. So, you know, I'm always going to deliver the honest truth of what I see and what I'm feeling in the connection to provide you with the clarity that you're coming here for. So just keep that in mind when you when you watch your reading, you guys, that you want to only watch this if you're really ready to hear the truth, good, bad, or indifferent, okay? Um, as always, this is a general reading, so take what resonates with you, leave behind anything that doesn't. If you do want to book a personal reading, that's always an option. I have it linked in the description box down below, all the instructions on how you can go about doing that if you desire. So let's go ahead and get into our deck selection for today's reading. So we're working with three decks. Starting here on the left, we have group number one. This is the Modern Witch Tarot, and we have some Sodalite here. Deck number two, we have the Kawaii Tarot with some Rose Quartz. And deck number three, we have the Rider Waite Tarot with some Bumblebee Jasper. So let's go ahead and take a deep breath. Think about your person and the connection you share with them. Go ahead and select the deck or crystal you're feeling the most intuitively connected to, really choosing with your intuition and your gut instincts versus your eyesight. And once you've made your choice, you can scroll down to the description box below where you will find the timestamp that will take you straight away to your reading. See you there. Hey there, group one. If you guys picked out the Sodalite crystal with the uh, Modern Witch Tarot, this will be your reading where we're gonna take a look and see how your person is currently feeling about you and about this connection. So I'm gonna start off uh, like I always do in this reading. We're going to look into their overall energy first. So let's first start with the Color Mage Oracle and let's see what comes through. So for group one, how is their person currently feeling about? this person feeling about my pile one viewers we just want one card okay so we have buttercup this says sweet surrender okay let's get another one here so spirit how is pile one's person currently feeling about their connection and about them clarifying this buttercup energy vibrations. We have commitment at the bottom. So uh, this energy feels really, really bright right now, you guys. Um, so Buttercup is really talking about sweet surrender. And this color is really beautiful. Like when I think of a Buttercup, I think of like a really fun, vibrant, happy, warm energy. And especially with vibrations being right here next to it, this person feels very high vibrational as it pertains to this connection, but I'm also hearing themselves. Like this person is wanting to be in a high vibrational state, meaning that they want to be experiencing those feelings of joy, of happiness, of fun. Um, even with buttercup, I'm getting a little bit of nostalgia here too, because I, for me, when I think of buttercups, I think of like picking buttercups as a child, you know, like just a very fun, sweet, like whimsical thing that you did when you were a kid. I don't know if anyone else did that, but this person is wanting to surrender to high vibration only. So this could be an energy, which we'll see, we're gonna get more insight here, but there's definitely this energy of them wanting to keep things light, wanting to keep things fun. Um, and I think that there's peace and there's joy and happiness in surrendering to what is, okay? I'm also being drawn to the number 22 here. So twos have to do with partnerships, dualities, um, 
So I definitely think that this high vibrational energy that this person is feeling is something that they're wanting in connections in general, including this one. So let's go ahead and get the tarot cards going. So I did pre-shuffle these off camera because they're really hard to shuffle. I didn't want you all to sit through that. So let's get some clarifying energies here, Spirit. So how is this person currently feeling about my pile one viewer? So we've got the Ace of Pentacles reversed. How's this person feeling? We have the Seven of Cups. <laughs> okay. And we have the Four of Swords. Okay. Clarifying this Ace of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Wands. Interesting. This makes this is all coming together for me really clearly. Okay. Seven of Cups. Let's clarify the Seven of Cups. Ace of Wands reversed. And then let's clarify this Four of Swords. Okay. Hold on. I just want one card. The Page of Cups. Okay. And look at this, you all, at the bottom of the deck, we have the energy of the sun. So more of that high vibrational energy coming in for this person. I'm going to get one more Oracle card and then we'll get into the full interpretation. And we will be closing this reading out with messages too. So just stay tuned for that. So let's see, Spirit. Um, pile one, how's this person feeling about them? Let's get a little bit more insight into this connection. How's this person feeling? Respect. Okay. Valid, valid. <laughs> All right. So pile one. So kind of going back, dialing back to this buttercup and vibrations energy, like this person, like I mentioned, they're really wanting to keep things high vibe. They're really wanting to keep things happy and joyful. And I do think with the sun card coming in here, there is this energy of um, happiness that this person does feel toward you. Happiness and joy and like appreciation in a sense. Um, I almost feel with this red flag though, <laughs> I feel like I'm wondering if this person may have felt like there were some red flags for them in this connection that were illuminated here through some of the time spent together. Um, initially, when I saw the red flag, I was thinking of like attention, like trying to get someone's attention could have been a thing in this connection, whether it was them trying to get your attention or you trying to get theirs or just like attention seeking behavior in general, because the sun can also talk about wanting to be in the spotlight too. some of this, like more attention seeking behavior. So that could be a thing for this connection and how this person feels, but it definitely seems like you guys had some fun times together that this person likes and appreciates. And at the same time, I think that there could have been some sort of like a red flag that showed itself during the times that you all were spending time together, if, even if you still are. And just for clarification, you guys, red flags doesn't always mean it's like a bad thing. You know, like it just, usually a red flag is like subjective to the person and what they're looking for and their upbringing and things like that. It, it, it's not necessarily always so cut and dry. Like red flags just mean we drop someone all together. You know what I mean? There just could have been something that was shown to them that they felt they needed to be cautious about. And I am seeing a little bit of this cautious energy, though there are still feelings here that this person has. So Ace of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, I feel like right now, especially with this surrender energy, I don't see that this person is really ready to put in the tangible effort needed to make this connection like grow or get off the ground or progress forward at this time. They do have a lot of respect for you. They do have a little bit of love for you. I say a little bit because we have a page, but we'll get to that in a second. They do have love for you, right? But I think that this person is feeling guarded for some reason. Um, the Nine of Wands really talks about like when we feel a little bit mistrustful. This person may have been through a lot in relationships past. You know, maybe you, the two of you have been through a lot together. And so this person just kind of has their guard up a little bit. Going back to that red flag, like 
I think there was something that happened in this connection that kind of maybe triggered this person a little bit or made them feel um, just like they needed to have their walls up a little bit. They're a little paranoid and not trusting all the way. Um, and so that is kind of blocking them from being ready to put forth effort, like tangible effort into this connection. And so this is why we see them here kind of in this peaceful surrender, right? So it's like sweet surrender is kind of just about accepting things for how they are. And this person is very much, I think, trying to raise their vibration as well. So it may not even be that you guys did anything like wrong to this person. Maybe this person is aware of some of the deeper like triggers that they have. I think they're aware that they may need to take a little break, just get themselves together mentally at this time. Um, so they're trying to kind of, for themselves, just work on raising their own vibration. It, it may not even have anything to do with you specifically. And that makes sense because in that initial energy check-in here with our two Oracle cards, I was feeling a lot more of this person's like individual energy versus the way they're feeling about you guys, if that makes sense. I do think that this person right now is a little bit confused about like what they want to do and where they want to go. I think that they are feeling maybe a little bit confused about this connection and what choice they want to make with regard to it. Um, and I do think that this is because, you know, with this Ace of Wands here, they may not be feeling very, vi what's the word I'm looking for? Like there's a lack of vitality here that this person is going through. Just kind of looking at their energy, you guys, to be honest, like we have Nine of Wands, Ace of Wands Reverse, Four of Swords, and with them trying to keep their vibe high, I almost feel like this person could be going through like just their own personal struggles with maybe like their mental health or their energy levels or maybe just their physical health as well. And I do feel that these things are causing them to maybe have a lack of energy to like put forth effort. You see, you have two aces here in reverse, one talking about passion and energy, the other talking about effort and tangible effort being put into the connection and they're both reversed. Um, so yeah, I think that this person is dealing with a little bit of confusion about what direction they want to take this because they're not, I don't feel that they have like the stamina right now to, to like make that decision. Things are feeling a little foggy for them. So again, this is why they're kind of trying to raise their vibration and get clarity. I almost wonder if your person that you guys are asking about is spiritual or if they have like a meditation practice or yoga or something like that. Um, they may be aware of like the third eye. And I, I feel like this person is needing to balance out their third eye because we have a lot of like fearful energy here. Um, we have like confusion energy here, which is making me think that there is a blockage there for them. So because this person I think is a bit confused about where they want to go, you know, I definitely see them needing a break, like a mental break, needing to just take some space um, to collect their thoughts and kind of get themselves together, maybe alleviate some of the confusion, rest from some of the fears that they might be feeling, you know what I mean? Um, but I do think that they are still thinking of you. I do think that they still care for you. You know, the Page of Cups does talk about having feelings and wanting to make that romantic gesture to someone or wanting to make that, you know, romantic expression or, or them to share with you how they feel, tell you that they care, things like that. Um, but I think that they need to like, like, I almost wonder if this person's just been like agonizing a little bit over like how to express themselves. And so they almost need to just like mentally shut it out for a minute so that they can gather their thoughts. Okay. Um, but they do have a lot of love and respect for you. I also get that this person with the page of cups, you know, they may for some of them and yeah, like for some of them, they may just be a little bit inexperienced as it pertains to relationships or maybe a little immature emotionally as it pertains to relationships. And I do very much think that this has to do with like childhood for some of them, because we have this little girl here, a little child here in the sun card. We have another page here, which is more of that youthful energy. So I think that this person, they have respect for you, but I'm almost getting that they feel like they don't know what to do with someone like you because they may see you as being above them in some way. Like maybe they feel as though their efforts that they would put in wouldn't be enough for someone like you. Um, and this is where we have a lot of that confusion energy over like, what direction do I take this in? <laughs> So interesting. 
All right, so pile one, let's go ahead and we're gonna get some of these Hidden Truth message cards just to kind of see like, what would this person say to you if they were being totally truthful and honest from the heart? So let's go ahead and see for group number one. What would this person say to group one if they were being totally honest? I want to make amends, okay? So maybe something went wrong here and they, they want to apologize, but I think that they need to like, that would make sense. They're like taking this break to try to like figure out how they're going to come back in to make amends with you. Let's see. I saved your texts and messages. So they're still like very much thinking about you. Uh, I think this person may look at those texts a lot <laughs> when they want to feel that connection with you. And then we have, do I still have a chance? Yeah, like this person isn't sure. Like they're confused with that seven of cups. They're confused about like where they stand with you at this point. Look at this. I daydream about a life with you. <laughs> yeah, you guys are still very much on this person's mind. I think that they just are maybe a little unsure right now as to like how um, they want to move forward within this connection. Um, and I think a lot of it does come down to like maybe a lack of maturity, maybe those potential red flags. You know, I think this person may also be perhaps a little bit skeptical of people or a little, again, like mistrustful, going back to that Nine of Wands and the Page of Swords too. Um, and I think that this may stem from like a deeper childhood issue for some of them that could be bubbling to the surface with you. So I think we're going to go ahead and close it out there, group one, but I would love to hear how this message resonated with you. Please drop me a comment down below and let me know. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to subscribe to the channel and I will catch you in a new reading really soon. Bye. Hello there, pile two. If you guys picked out the rose quartz tumble with the Kawhi tarot, this will be a reading where we're going to look to see how your person is currently feeling about you and about this connection. So like I always do in these readings, I'm going to start first by channeling their overall energy using a couple Oracle decks. Then we'll get into your tarot and we will close this out with some message cards. So for pile two, how is that person currently feeling about them and about this connection, please? Okay. Too many. We just want one, please. So we have gold, abundance. That's lovely to see. Very high vibrational. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get another one here, please. How's this person currently feeling? I got my pile two viewers really clarifying this gold energy. deception. Hmm. Interesting. I, I do feel for some of you guys, like this person may want to talk to you about something, but I think that they're afraid. Um, the reason I feel that is because when I was shuffling, I started to feel like, um, like a funny feeling in my throat. Um, but yeah, like overall, this person, they definitely see a lot of prosperous energy with you. Like this person sees you as being really prosperous and abundant and really like attractive is what I'm getting. Like this person's really attracted to you. Maybe you guys are wealthy or you have a lot of money. I don't know why that's coming to mind for me here with this. Um, yeah. This person is really drawn to your light is what I'm getting here. Even if this isn't necessarily about physical things like money or, um, you know, whatever your possessions you own, this person feels like you have a really radiant energy about you, but there's something that this person is not showing to you. They're hiding something. And I think for some of them, they may want to communicate, but they are struggling with how to do so. You know, let's look at this. It's like this person just doesn't want to be seen for some reason. Maybe this person is like watching you or observing you from a distance and not really communicating with you. This person may not be just being totally open and honest about how they're feeling. So 
hopefully we can kind of crack that here in today's reading and see what it is that they are feeling. So for group two, let's get some clarity here. How's this person currently feeling? This person may lack confidence as well. Let's see. How's this person feeling about my pile two viewers? Okay, so we've got the Four of Swords in reverse. Ugh. We have a Three of Cups in reverse. And we have an Ace of Swords in reverse. Clarifying the Four of Swords. How's this person feeling? We have the Five of Cups. Clarifying the Three of Cups reverse. Seven of Swords. Wow, this person, oh my gosh, you guys. Yeah, okay. Clarifying the Ace of Swords reversed. The Chariot. And at the bottom of our deck, we have the Ace of Pentacles coming out. Let's pull one more Oracle card and then we will get into this full interpretation here. feeling about my pile two viewers here. What are their true feelings here? And I have to be honest with you guys, like this person's energy, like they don't feel good right now. There's something about this that they really don't feel good about. I do definitely see there's deception in this relationship from this person, but the way that I feel right now is like, I feel nauseous. This person does not feel good physically. Like they're physically experiencing like the guilt <laughs> based off of whatever they did here. So let's see. We have passion. Okay. Oh my gosh. We have family at the bottom of the deck. I listen. Okay. First thing I want to start off by saying is that I do believe that this person feels like there is potential for this relationship to be prosperous, abundant, to really um, grow in a tangible way with that Ace of Pentacles being there, you know? But the thing about the Ace of Pentacles that I always say is that Aces are all about potential energy, right? So if nobody actually takes the time to nurture the connection and put tangible effort toward the connection, this potential energy will be a potential energy forever. It doesn't go anywhere, right? So I do feel this person sees a lot of potential in this connection. This really makes sense with that gold abundant energy that we were getting here. They're very attracted to you. There's a lot of passionate energy this person feels toward you. There's a lot of chemistry that they feel with this connection. Um, I feel like in the past with the four of swords reverse and the five of cups, I feel like this person, maybe you connected with them when they were coming out of a time of loss or grief or disappointment in their life. I think some of them, um, maybe they had just recently gone through like a breakup or separation or some sort of like relationship with someone that wasn't working out in their favor. And there was a lot of sadness there. Um, and the four of swords reverse is all about kind of coming out of hiding a little bit, like coming out of seclusion. Um, and maybe you guys really help this person to like kind of rejoin the world and like reconnect again with people. Um, I think there was an energy here of trying to get this person support through a hard time that they might've been having, okay? Uh, but with the Three of Cups reversed, with, with it being clarified by the Seven of Swords, you know, I think that this person has some regrets about what went on in this relationship because the three of cups for me can talk about like maybe overindulging in something that we know we shouldn't have overindulged in, you know? And I do have to share that we have family at the bottom of the deck here. So I don't know, but for some of you, I do feel like this person could have ties to another person or family um, that they weren't being truthful and honest about with you all the way, okay? That's for some of you. Um, 
But that would make a lot of sense as to why we have some of this regretful energy. Like I think this person feels like they were dishonest. I think they feel like maybe they took things a little bit too far. They let their passion get the best of them. Um, and you know, there's a level here of deception. I can't lie. Like we have deception being highlighted twice. So everyone's situation viewing this reading is going to be different. And so you guys will know what resonates best for your situation, but this, this person definitely wasn't being totally honest or isn't being totally honest with you about either their situation at home, um, maybe having another connection in the picture or just in general, how they feel. I think this person is, it's interesting because in the beginning I was getting those like feelings in my throat and you guys do have a lot of swords cards here, but the swords cards that you guys have are either reversed here or talking about like not communicating because the seven of swords is an energy of avoidance. It's not wanting to deal with something. It's kind of like, let me escape from that or ghost in a sense. <laughs> Maybe this person ghosted you too for some. Um, so it's like this person knows that they need to communicate more clearly. Maybe there is a desire to do so deep down, but there's a lot of fear around it. There's a lot of blockages in their throat chakra. And so I think for this person, it's a lot easier for them to just avoid the situation, um, avoid whatever mistake they thought that they made versus like addressing it head on. We also have the Ace of Swords reversed with the Chariot card. So the Ace of Swords reversed is like, I think that this person, you know, near future here, I feel like they will continue to have a lack of clarity and a lack of communication with you around this connection. I think things will remain a little up in the air or confusing. I think that this person um, themselves is confused in a lot of ways about what it is that they truly want. And it's because they're not being honest with themselves. And with the chariot card being here, you know, this is very much about like forward movement and progress. But when I think of the chariot as well, I also think of wanting to achieve a specific goal. Like there's a target that we're going after. Um, and sometimes when we're trying to go after that target, we're not necessarily thinking of like, what's happening along the way. We're just hyper-focused on that target. So what I mean is that for some of you guys, this person, one, doesn't really know where they wanna go with this connection. And two, it's like they might just be looking for like a means to an end, if that makes sense. Like they may just be kind of like, well, this is the specific thing that I want to happen and I'm gonna go for it without having a lot of clarity around what that is um, with you, my viewer. We also have the number seven coming up twice here. And look, number 25 adds up to number two plus five is seven. This connection I do think is spiritual in nature. But for me, when I see the number sevens, usually this is talking about some sort of a spiritual lesson that we're learning. So I think this person through your relationship is learning a spiritual lesson, um, whether they realize it or they don't. Um, just make sure I'm not missing anything. Yeah, I, I think that, I think if you guys were like intimate with this person or you were like dating this person, you know, for me, the three of cups, it definitely does talk about like, there's a, there was someone else. So there's another party involved, <laughs> whether it is like a wife or something, I don't know, or it could just be that they were dating other people. I think for some of you as well, like the three of cups reversed is talking about like the two of you were friends maybe first, and then things went a different direction. Maybe this person feels like they took it too far. Ugh. So let's, let's get some of these hidden truth message cards and just kind of see like what this person would say to you if they were being honest. And we need to know because look at all this dishonesty that they have. I just have to show you guys when I was shuffling, I can't be with you really caught my eye. We'll see if it comes back out, but I think there is a sign for some of you that this person just has other things in their life that are preventing them from really being able to be in a connection with you. So let's see, um, what would Kyle two's person say if they were being totally honest? I want you back. Okay. 
I think that you guys probably made this person feel better. And this could be what that chariot card is coming about. It's like I said, it's the means to the end. They know they want you back, but they don't really want to communicate about how to get there or what they're going to actually do to do that. <laughs> okay. You inspire me. You know, that makes a lot of sense too with that gold energy. Like I was picking up on, you know, I definitely think that this person feels abundance around you. I think that they feel you're very high, vib high vibrational, that you have beautiful light. They're attracted to that. Let's see. I would do it all again. Okay. Well, maybe they don't have regrets. I think for some of them, I was feeling like there were regrets here. Um, and that could be the case. For others of you, they feel like they would do it all over again and they don't care. <laughs> um, I do think though, regardless, that like that three of cups reversed, I keep going back to that, you guys, because that is a very low vibrational sort of energy that we see for feelings. Like this is very hookup energy for me. Like this is like, I'm going to hook up with you on the DL. It's strictly sexual, uh, like one night stand, you know, like there's a, you know, there's a, there's a agenda with the friendship. It's a lower vibrational friendship, if that makes sense. So I think we're going to go ahead and close it out there. Group two, this was very interesting energy. I really want to hear from you guys, um, how the message resonates with you. Um, please drop me a comment down below and let me know. If you guys did enjoy the reading, please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in a new reading very soon. Bye. Hello there, group number three. If you guys picked out the Bumblebee Jasper with the Rider Waite Tarot, let's go ahead and see how this person is currently thinking and feeling about you and this connection. So like I always do in these readings is I'm going to start off by channeling their overall energy with a couple of Oracle decks. Uh, then we'll get into your tarot and close it out with some message cards from them. So let's go ahead and see. So how's this person for pile three? How are you currently feeling about my pile three viewers? Sorry, guys. So we have Red Merlot, relationships. Ooh, okay. Let's get another one here. So there's definitely something about relationships that's coming up for this person with your connection. Maybe a bigger theme, a bigger picture th uh, issue or something. Let's see, though. How's this person feeling about my pile three viewers, please? Understanding, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Okay, so overall, this person is feeling right now like they have, I feel like this person has come to a deeper understanding around something to do with relationships through the connection that they have with you. Um, I think that this person is feeling as though they've like, something has been highlighted for them. Something's been illuminated for them. They have a clear understanding and I feel like they're seeing the bigger picture around maybe different behaviors or patterns in relationships or even what it is that they truly want out of a relationship. This red Merlot energy is like, it's a really beautiful, deep, like sultry, passionate color that I'm seeing here. So this could be a connection that this person feels really like passionate about. Like maybe there's a lot of seductive energy here that's being um, highlighted for this person as well, but there's definitely some sort of deeper understanding that this person has been able to gain through this connection. So let's see with the tarot. So how is this person currently feeling about my group three viewers? So we have the Four of Swords reversed, which came up in group two. <laughs> Interesting. In the first position, we have the Knight of Cups. Okay. 
and we have the Emperor card. Interesting. Okay, let's clarify this Four of Swords. The Six of Pentacles. Okay, let's clarify this Knight of Cups. The High Priestess. Ooh. And clarifying the Emperor card for this person's feelings. The Six of Wands. And at the bottom, we have the Ten of Cups reversed. Okay. Let's go ahead and get one more Oracle card. And then we'll get into this. So for pile three, how is this person currently feeling about my pile three viewers and about their connection as the energy stands today? We have gifts. Okay. Listen, look at this. We have mystery and the, and the high priestess also talks about mystery. This is interesting energy, you guys. Okay. So I feel like what this person is realizing about relationships and specifically about your connection is something having to do with effort being put in here. I think that we have energy of gifts. We have the six of pentacles, which talks about effort. We also have the knight of cups, which talks about putting forth effort. So there's definitely this energy of them like realizing that they may actually have to put in work <laughs> or make a move or put in some sort of tangible effort in this connection if they want things to move forward, okay? We do have a 10 of cups reversed here. So I'm wondering if this person, you and this person maybe have had like a recent disagreement or if this person has sort of had their um, like, maybe this person was kind of like daydreaming or on cloud nine about this connection and something may have happened here that made them kind of like come crashing down from that because there is definitely this undertone of like having the wind knocked out of their sails a little bit, which I think may have triggered this, this understanding, this deeper understanding of how to show up in relationships for them. So four of swords reversed, six of pentacles. I definitely think in the past, in this connection, maybe this person, you know, had been going through maybe a hard time or it feels like there wasn't a lot of movement in this connection for whatever reason with that four of swords being reversed. Now, the four of swords is very much about like coming out of a time of rest, coming out of a time of, of peace or kind of being isolated off because we needed to take like a mental break. And that's why I'm saying maybe this person had something happened in their life that they needed to take a break. I definitely feel with the six of pentacles that like maybe you came in and showed this person some sort of generosity. Like you were there, you were trying to put in effort, you were trying to maybe lend them a helping hand. And I think that this sort of helped to pull this person back out of whatever funk that they were in. Maybe it pulled this person out of like isolation or something like that. It, it feels like there was some sort of energy of support that this person felt from you that allowed them to kind of get up out of the bed and like rejoin the world a little bit, okay? And even if this, maybe this could even just have to do with your connection specifically, like Maybe this four of swords is just representing that there was like a pause in this connection for whatever reason, because both people needed to reflect. And then when generosity or effort was shown by you, it's like this person realized like, oh, I got to get up. I got to do something about this now. So we have the Knight of Cups with the High Priestess. I think that this person has a lot of love for you, pile three. You know, the Knight of Cups is telling me that this person really wants to make that effort. They want to make that romantic gesture. They may even come in and like emotionally express how they're feeling to you, which is beautiful. And I, I think that this is because, you know, with that high priestess energy, they see you as somebody that they want to explore. You know, that high priestess is a very mystical, it's a very like mysterious sort of energy. I feel like this person has a lot of curiosity about you. I think this person feels as though you hold a lot of wisdom, you hold a lot of knowledge. And I think that they're genuinely really curious as to like what you think about certain things, how you feel about certain things. It's like they want to know you. And um, it's interesting because underneath the mystery card, we also had the romance card. So I think that there's something about this mysterious energy that you put up. Like you don't really 
give away everything that you're feeling um, inside, it's like this person I think maybe knows that they have to actually work for it with you and they find that really attractive, um, that you're not someone that's just giving up all of your secrets <laughs> and bearing your soul to them right away. It's like they've learned that this connection is going to actually require some effort if they want it to go anywhere. They can't just be lazy, they have to actually act. Um, to, to make this happen. You know what I mean? I think, I also think this person wants to give you something too with gifts. For some of you guys, literally the gifts could just be talking about this generosity, this energy of giving in general. Um, but there could also be a literal gift that this person wants to give you as well. So then we have the emperor card with the six of wands. So I think this person has come to a realization here, um, that they need to, um, Kind of step things up a little bit you know that's kind of what this whole vibe is the emperor card is the divine masculine energy this is about taking action right divine masculine energy is about action divine feminine energy is about receiving right receptivity and so with the emperor card being here the divine masculine card i do feel that this person understands now that they do have to really embody their masculine energy and they have to put forth effort. They have to actually take the lead here. You know, so the Emperor card is telling me that this person is getting into a place where they might be ready to actually take the lead in this connection, step up to the plate, um, take charge of the situation, and lead this connection forward in a place that you guys both may want it to go or they want it where they want to see it going. We have a lot of like forward moving energy here, you know, and maybe in the past with that Six of Pentacles there could have been kind of lackluster energy because this card for me also can talk about breadcrumbing. It's about like having resources to give, but not really wanting to give, just being kind of stingy because maybe you don't know what you want. I think this person is really moving out of this energy. At least that's what it feels like. I also wonder for some of you, if this person is someone that tends to be in the spotlight a lot, like they might be really attractive is something that I'm getting for some of you. Um, and, and have a lot of people who have eyes on them. And with the emperor card here, I do see this person being prepared to set proper boundaries as well. So even though this person might be sought after or well-recognized, um, maybe in the limelight in some aspects, they're not going to allow just anyone to have access to them. I think, again, there's this element of them wanting to maintain mystery for themselves as well. So, interesting pile number three um this energy feels great so what i'm going to do next we're going to get some of these hidden truth um oracle uh message cards rather um so what we'll do is kind of see like with these cards what would your person say if they were being really honest with their feelings What would Pile 3's person say if they were being really honest with their feelings? I am waiting patiently. Okay. So they may be waiting on you. Like maybe they need some sort of a green light from you. I don't know because like they seem pretty action oriented to me. So that's kind of interesting that waiting is coming up, but let's see. I hide my feelings. Ah, okay. That is interesting. Yeah. Because you know, that high priestess card is also like, it's very mysterious energy, but this person does have these romantic feelings for you. So they might be struggling with how to express them. Um, maybe they've been holding it inside. The emperor is also not a very emotionally expressive type of dude. <laughs> So maybe this is why you guys like, maybe you're watching this reading and you're like, what? This person feels this way. Okay. Maybe they've struggled with expressing this. We also have, I trusted you. So there is trust here. Um, I still have feelings for you. Exactly. What did I say? I want you back. I wonder how you feel. Will you make things right? I watch your social media. Yeah. Okay. So this person still has feelings, you guys. I just think that they, what I'm feeling is even though they have desires to, to express themselves and to make effort, going back to this mystery card here, 
I wonder if this person might need you to sort of like guide them a little bit, um, kind of give them the green light if you guys want to. Like if you want this person, I, I feel like they might need you to sort of like give them the green light that it's okay for them to approach you again um, because the, it feels a little mysterious to them. Like you seem a little mysterious to them and they're not sure maybe like how you're feeling. And I think that they may need to know that first before they're gonna be comfortable to come forward. So I think we're going to go ahead and close it out there, group three. This was a really cool reading. So drop me a comment and let me know how it resonated. I always love hearing from you guys in the comments. If you did enjoy the reading, please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you all in a new one really soon. Bye.